to SQL reporting service this is video number 52 uh, I'm sorry and in this video we're going to build something like this what we have done already the only difference what you are seeing in here is like uh, you are seeing the data but some of the columns have the different colors uh, if you look at the London uh, London has pink and the other two have uh, three the reason why this is happening is I have applied conditional formatting in the system what I'm saying is wherever you find the highest uh, number of record okay I mean in London you can see you got like four employees so London becomes the highest so, and I said you change it to pink or otherwise all or all other will be the orange ones right so this is it so basically what happens is like you know this is a small case scenario <coughs> in uh, big scenario if you look at you got like so many things going on like take the same example and take it across a lot of cities so if uh, I present some cities where you know I'm getting a lot of people which the company is recruiting so it helps the system to understand from where we are getting a good people what's going on there and from where we are not able to get a good people okay so this is kind of but now the question is how do I configure it so right click on uh, uh, this is the blue guy right the blue bar always choose the blue bar right click series properties then you go to fill because the fill decides what color need to be there and there is a formula I have kept uh, which is control A control C and let's open that in whoopsie I wanted to open in this so let's forget these guys these are the same nothing changed what I'm saying is while you know going through the loop and trying to printing the values for my bar and all if in between you encounter anybody who's having the max uh, uh, value of you know the first name which is 4 in our case the London then you highlight that bar as a pink color and the other as the orange okay so that's what I have uh, actually done in here and because of which you are able to see the pink color right so you can set up your the formula the likewise you know and you, you can do this very easily all right next thing uh, what I'm going to do is which I have not shown you guys for a long time so let me go back to the design but uh, okay I'm gonna talk the flaws about this in the end okay so behold and next is I'm gonna add uh, the thing called as uh, what I'm gonna add uh, hopefully you can see there's a report to column so I'm gonna add that okay so which is the next one and let me preview that so once I preview that I see two different things what I'm seeing over here is uh, if you look at one second if you look at this band this band describes that how many employees I have from London Redford and you know blah 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 basically how many employees I have uh, in the different cities that is represented in between 0 to 5 and the blue bar shows this employees I mean like there are four employees they reports to how many people because what I'm what we are doing over here is a sum reports to <coughs> right so it shows there and based on which uh, we are seeing the value but again we are not sure what's the value so go back to design take this guy right click on it take the orange bar then right click on it series properties and you know what to do well what I was supposed to do I'm sorry not that one I am extremely sorry what we are supposed to do is right click and show data labels that's it and that's done now so looking at the, this report you are able to figure out two things first is <coughs> how many employees live in London uh, Redford and Seattle and how many of them reports to how many people okay so there are 17 for London and for Redford now the flaw which I was talking about is in order to do that I need to take this guy out delete okay let's save it that's good let's view the report again and we are back to where we were okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add one more employee in Seattle in order to make it as four <coughs> okay so let me go back to the database and let me select 
the employees as you can see the Seattle has three London has four so I'm gonna take the Margaret and I'm gonna set that to Seattle <coughs> copy paste and employee ID is four so only Margaret should be affected and now let's look at uh, the results London has four and Seattle has four so, so basically when I look at the graph now this should be pink right let me go back to design give them some time to refresh and let's preview again and now you see some bullshit right you don't like it because this is wrong the formula what I said was wherever you find max you make it as pink and this has not done the job so this is the kind of a issue which actually I have encountered in the previous case we guys were lucky because the Seattle has three and the London has four so the homework would be to find a workaround on this and post on the YouTube and help others in the meantime I know the answers okay but if you are not able to find it then ask me I'll give you the answers all right so I hope uh, this video gives you an idea uh, about like you know the charts and all and plus uh, uh, if you what I was gonna say I'm sorry uh, damn it I was, anyways I, what I was gonna say is like uh, if this video is helping you in some way then please share this video with your friends and subscribe to me on YouTube and thank you for watching this uh, video good night and take care